Hey everyone, hope you're well today. It's Heather from Aspire Vox and I'm just on today to talk to you about nodules. So I often get questions in terms of my little croaky parts that I have in my voice and it's because I had nodules. So a long time ago um, I had an extremely busy, hectic uh, gig schedule, um, a bit like the one I've got at the moment and it meant that I I was performing on a tired voice. Um, I didn't warm up. I didn't drink enough water. I wasn't mindful about my dairy. Um, I didn't cool my voice down. I continued to perform and the voice gave up. I ended up with nodules and I was referred for surgery. Surgery can, depending on the type of surgery that you have, um, can be very, very effective. In my case, it was effective. However, it did leave me with a little bit of scar tissue. Scar tissue, as we all know, is a little bit less flexible and it can impact the my voice quality. So, yes, my voice has its limitations and yes, it isn't necessarily... I would say always perfect. I do have to think a little bit harder about how I approach certain um, notes and certain vowels. Uh, have I learned from it? Absolutely. Um, I now train my voice every day. I warm up before I'm singing. I drink lots of water. I back off on my dairy prior to gigging and any singing really. And yeah, if I have my life to live all over again, would I make those mistakes? No. Um, but it happened. Um, vocal fatigue and strain, um, you can't you have to change your your mindset. I essentially was straining my voice and my voice was tired and exhausted and I continued to do that. Um, but if I'd given it the time to heal and recover, then it may not have been necessary. But we are where we are and I look positively into the future and I have managed to train my voice back to a very, very healthy range and I'm still gigging every single weekend. So yeah, that's why my speaking voice has a little bit of a crack on it. Feel free to chuck some questions my way and I'll come back to you. Speak to you all soon. See you later.